shit out of me. Hmm. What is... Now that kind of looks like the way down. I want to kind of investigate what's up here. Kind of... Hmm, is that the right way to go? Sure it is. <clears throat> you know, it's... Uh-oh. Ow! Two birds? Incontestably proven health! Get away, That's mister. It. I'm gonna go to the light and you can't do a bend about it. Ooh. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. <laughs> kind of reminds me of that Simpsons episode. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Let's pick up some batteries. Oh, it's it's some energizer batteries. Oh my god, there's like product placement everywhere. Is that like an Abercrombie and Fitch vest? Probably is. During your revolver ammo. Sure, why not? Let's try it using like the phone. In yes. Hello. Well, thanks for destroying the phone, asshole. Like, really? I'll better get out of here. Hmm. Sure did so. Well, that was a waste of ammo. But I do like having my revolver and such. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go this way. I think I kind of missed one of these coffee thingies. Let's insert some batteries because I got five of them. Thank you for dying. Concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. What I do like is this following effect like um, you know, when you shine your light on stuff, it will tell you where to go and whatnot. Kind of very intriguing concept of navigation through this game. <clears throat> In any case, jump my bitch jump. Because it kind of tells me that I want to... kind of want to work... make... make this kind of work. Because there's like a battery, but... well, there we are. There we are. Not too bad, ain't it? So, what do we have here? Tools... And well, that worked pretty fine, did it? <laughs> Not. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Let's see what we have here. It kind of tells me. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Mm-hmm. A flare gun. Which I like the most, if you ask me, because it kind of rocked, didn't it? So, how about we continue in this particular direction? Did you like that, bitch? Uh, there's no points for... Well, maybe there is points for headshots. I'm not really sure. Well, there's a lot of... 
a gunpowder I wanted to see. <laughs> it's not gunpowder. Stupid. Stupoid. It is just ammo. And, um, you know, revolver ammo for that matter. And also, there's the manuscript. Lighting, flashlighting, and stuff. Bro's daydream Rose about... knew she had been gushing, but right now, she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Well, I'm not going to give you that satisfaction. I kind of always forget that you just have to press F5 to kind of quitsies here. Call it quitsies? No, I'm not gonna call it quitsies right now because I do think this game kind of has a very nice atmosphere. Although I'm actually talking about it. No, 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 no. no. I, I, I'm talking over it. But then again, you kind of like my voice because else you wouldn't be watching this LP, weren't you? Or wouldn't you? Or weren't you be and stuff? You know, I'm kind of not sure about what I wanted to say right there. <clears throat> In any case, let's kind of look what's behind here. There's nothing to be found behind this very big thing in a bob. I don't even know what it is. It kind of is a tree cutter, I believe. Is that a barrel that can be shot? No, apparently I was right about that in the first place when I tried to shoot it when this zombie was approaching me. Whoa! Flashback! Flashlight and flashback. Not to be mixed up. What the hell was that? It was a flashback. Like the one that's triggered when you are kind of the, at the same vicinity, something happens. Especially in your not yet written book that you're gonna write in the next couple of years. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Why? Is it black? You are kind of a racist, my dear sir. Uh, why don't you want to look at the black water? This is uh, not understandable for me. <clears throat> See? Another coffee thing. I believe. I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure. Like, if you, if you... I'm gonna have to look that up, but if you gather more of these guys, you kind of probably get, like, a big reward for it. You'd better be. Because I don't even see any point in doing it. Because, like, a hundred of them in episode number one would mean that you get a... You know, if I look at the, the circle, which is at the red circle, half circle at the moment, which is kind of representing my health, I believe if you, you know, collect all of them, kind of get more health, I would presume, but maybe I'm not right about this. Hmm, another piece of my manuscript. Let's read it, or let's someone else read it. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that. Not sleeping. Messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake. And he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. So, does that mean help us kind of on the way? Hmm. I do believe I do not want to go this way because that kind of looks unhealthy, doesn't it? But that too. So, where do we go? First of all, let's get stuck with the level and such, and the level design and whatnot. And now, let's go... Where are you, my dear friend? I can hear Stucky you. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Stupid stalkers. I know what I'm talking about. I have a lot of stalkers. Especially girls that are kind of creepy. <clears throat> so, I know it's 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 a thing that usually comes with being famous and stuff on YouTube and whatnot. <laughs> 
No, it, it is it is actually just my social life and stuff. I did see some well shining through there, but it was just water. Hmm. I do want to feel, or I just do want to pick up everything there is in this game because I kind of think it's worth worthy to be picked up as long as it kind of makes sense in terms of the story and such. So. Master, Alan, you are not very smart if you're reloading as slowly as a small child on drugs and heroin and such. So I'll better presume for you that you'd be faster in reloading and whatnot. So what do we have here? Just a small can, tin can of paint. It's probably not going to help us unless we want to paint our face in kind of childish red to kind of mimic being a tiger and whatnot. So I believe we should probably go up here to a caution area where you have to proceed at your own risk. It's a logging area ahead. Hmm. I do have the... Oh, this is a lift. So... I have to get this way and this way and stuff. Uh-huh! Well, why don't we climb that ladder which is properly hidden next to these logs. Uh, what do we have here? Well, there's a hut. So I'll presume we have to get there to get some goodies. Oh boy! Goodies! I love goodies. As long as it's not protected by a bad monster and whatnot. So, hey, it's like the Half-Life sign, but more creepy. Lithium ion batteries. Not accumulators. Because Alan Wake is kind of the environmental asshole that we expected him to be. No rechargeable batteries, but, you know, whatever. Whatever, I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> or am I? So. This kind of leads nowhere, apparently. Probably it does lead somewhere. There's a car. But I can't go there. Because I do not possess a key to open that thing. Or do I? I do not believe so. Well, this would be probably a, you know, a small hint hint to tell me where to go to get stuff and such. Hmm. What do you think about... The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Oh, always these things in your way and broken and stuff. I, I do really not like those. But... There are some more energy packs and revolver ammo, which are kind of just laying around here in the logging area. Apparently, logging is a very dangerous, dangerous, dangerous task. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Well, then let's just see if we can, well, bound to be a generator. That kind of looks like a generator, but it is not a generator. My dear stupid Alexander, which is apparently my name. This is not a generator per se. It is the green flashing thing over there. So I'll guess we'll just go ahead. Oh, holy crap. Let's insert some batteries, because we do have a lot of them. And you gotta get another headshot. Hey! Don't you throw your axe at me, Mr. Axe Guy. Goodbye to you, too. I do believe, um... 
We're gonna start this engine. This forestry equipment around. There had to be something I could use to reach the top. Let's reach the top. Well, apparently, uh, we're gonna use this engine right there, just next to the one thing that we have actually been to yet, um, to continue with the game somehow. But first, let me just check out this area. I do not want to miss out on anything, especially manuscript pages and such. Wake attacked by I heard birds. Them before I saw them swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Well, very good picture that he's do a shotgun. I do think I want that, don't I? See, if I just would have gone back, I would have missed out on a shotgun. But who really likes to miss out on shotguns and stuff? Alrighty, because now you know when you think about me playing Mass Effect, I always like to use a shotgun. If you have a very good aim, which usually I do, maybe you want to go up here. Then if you fire at point blank range, people are not able to do anything. Like aliens are going to be raped, raped, and raped if I didn't. Well, I do see a coffee thing in a bob right there. So why don't I grab it like this? Like a pro. And like Borat. Thank you. Let's see. There's gonna be some, bound to be something around here. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. Oh, that was kind of a waste of a time, was it? Is that the bag of the thing that we were in? Because I couldn't be sure. This thing is not very big, but I kind of get confused right here. Okay, um, moving along. <laughs> moving along. I believe uh, we want to get that helmet, you know, because of protection and such. They won't let me. Well, why don't we just start the engine right here? Move the log lift. Duh. Easy peasy. I do believe this is properly aligned and such. Oh, I. I see, I see, I see. Uh, I put that right there so I can get up there. Now this is okay. <coughs> so I actually found out how to get there before I even used the lift to <coughs> realign the logs and such to 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 cross. <sighs> yes, I have to jump. <laughs> Jump! <laughs> yep, that's me. Okay. That was fair enough. It was kind of okay and easy puzzle. Is there something that we can pick up? Can we repair that stairs? Or are we going to get stuck on this kind of Hill? I don't know. Find out next. No, <laughs> just kidding. Trying to figure out if I can make a cliffhanger here, but I'm not really feeling like this. Let's see if the radio kind of works. Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night! I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. As you listeners know, I'm, I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Mm, makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and don't keep you company all night long if I weren't. 
Yeah, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. Hello, Maurice. Well, I was just taking Toby on his walkies. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find him. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? Oh, Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but we, we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but he's just too dumb for his own good. Hmm. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a good night now. Sure, so we're probably going to encounter a dog. So let's see what we have here. This kind of leads us to something around this vicinity. A burned out truck. More flare gun kind of gives me more flare gun ammo, I presume. So, this game kind of gives you second chances.